welcome to the show. It's me, Pagani Supercar here, back with Legos. Now, um, I'm not sure. This is probably um either my my it could be my fourth Lego video. I'm not sure, but anyways, we're going to be building this time the Sport SUV. The Sport SUV is a particular was a particular challenge because it was had to be a sporty added SUV, and I did. I did do it. it. Took a long time, but I did do it. I figured out how to build it. So I'll be showing you how to build it. Simple. So we'll start with the frame. This is a frame piece. So this is a two by six brown plate. I'm using brown because I don't. I couldn't find another piece. So we'll take two axles and place them with a two stud distance apart on either end. So that there can no so when you hold it, look at it from the underside, there will be no sign of brown on this side or this side. Clearly, there will only be brown in the middle. On the top, you should only see brown and the occasional black axle. But anyways, next we need a lot of jumper, a lot of spacer plates. So I'm using one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, one by twos for spacers. Spacer plates can be whatever color you want them to be. This I'm using going to be using these spacers and to show you. So first the space the we'll take three of these one by two spacers and set them in a staircase like fashion on this side of the build, just like this. So there's one plate, two plates, making a staircase-like fashion. It works. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Ah, I lost my bricks. Just, hold on. I'm sorry, I haven't done this in a day or so, so. Don't know where the camera is. Can't remember where my camera is on my phone. Anywho, we got two little staircases on either end that goes from one from thickness on this side is it goes from three plates to four plates to one plate all the way down in the middle now so there should be so it should look like this from the top now let's attach these two bricks here these are angular bricks I know I've called them bricks with studs on the side before it doesn't matter which end they go at, just know that I'm using red for the back and black for the front at the moment. So we'll start with the front. Using a 1x2 jumper blade plate with a 1x1 one one stud in the middle like this, we are going to place it in the dead center of the front angular brick, like this. And we're going to take our two 1x1 one one yellow yellow transparent yellow transparent um, slanted bricks on the front here and put, put them on either side of this part in the middle now of course this design is based off of a Buick Roadmaster and the back end is based off of a whatever of a whatever vehicle I have no idea what vehicle I'm based after I just know I'm based after a vehicle okay anyways now for the back we'll take a 1x2 white plate and put it in the middle and then two one by one circular red plates in the back and at any point in the video you can pause it and build it up to where I have it so you can see I have the parts here right here now we put a two by two by four white brick in the middle I'm using white and lime green. Notice that I only use one brick throughout this entire model. That is kind of my own record that I've set for myself. It could get less and less in the future, but anywho. So now we're going to take a 1x4 white plate and place it on the very back of this brick, right there. So that now this brick forms a staircase fashion as well. Now, of course, we want the lower side facing toward the front. Now it gets a bit tricky. 
to get everything precisely where it should be. So now we're going to build the hood. The hood needs two 1x4 green tiles. They have no studs on top. And then we need two 1x2 lime green plates. And so, placing these 1x2 lime green plates like this so that there is a 2x2 two two stud space in the middle, we now have created ourselves the hood. The hood goes directly over the front axle. And we almost have, we have completed the front section of this vehicle. Now, we need to do the back, because the back is kind of ragtag right now. But that will quickly change. But, of course, before we do the back, we must finish the middle. So let's take four one-by-one one clear sloped bricks. And we'll put them... Oh, jeez, my taillights went flying. We'll put them um, on the one-by-four space to, on the one-by-four set of studs directly behind the hood. So that we get this. That's as close. It's getting close. Now we're going to use our remaining one-by-four green tile to cover up this one-by-one-by-four white brick or white plate right here beh directly behind our windscreen. So now our car has a basic design that looks like this. Now you could stop here and have a pickup truck, but I'm not building a pickup truck. So now for the trickier part. We'll put this aside and we'll assemble the back end. So the back end requires three one by four lime green bricks. And we can arrange them. So let's arrange these like this. So now they are now a two by four. Then we'll take another one of these one by fours and put it directly on top of this. So we have a, another staircase fashion. Then we'll take two one by two lime green bricks and put them with a two by two stud space in the middle. Now this is on the underside of the build. So now the underside looks like this. This is what the front looks like and this is what the back of it looks like. It's an interesting looking piece. But now for the roof. We'll take, this would work with a one by four lime green brick, but I'm using two one by two lime green tiles and putting them directly on the highest location of this plate little plate build thing. And then we'll take we'll take four one by four or we'll take four one by one clear diagonal bricks and place them in the array on the array of the last available stud space that they will fit on so that now we have this and let's pick our car up where's a good place we could put this well we could put it on the back right there we could slide it behind the rear tail lights and ta-da we have a basic frame but of course there's still one thing missing these two one by two plates here we can stick them so on the underside right now it looks like this you know so let's cover up this empty white space since there's so much space in there makes the cab look hollow well let's stop that effect by putting these two one by two plates like so so that now from the underside looking only this spot and this spot are the only seeable white from the underside the only visible parts and of course I have wheels. You can use these wheels here, these sporty wheels. I got them from the Cars 2 sets. That's where I personally found them. I'm not sure where you would find them. I'm not sure you would have them. Right, you could use these wheels, or if you want to make this thing into a monster truck, you could use these wheels. I don't know what set these wheels are from, I just found them. But yeah, this is a sport SUV. Now, of course, I have other trucks as well. So I have built the sport SUV, the American sports car, 
and a semi truck and trailer. Those are the ones I have built so far. I'm going to grab the semi truck and trailer so you guys can see it. Uh oh, I think I'm going to whack the. I did indeed whack the camera. Here. And here's the semi truck. The way he should be in the background. That is the semi truck. The semi my truck. Dun 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 dun. But yeah. Anyways, this is my micro car. This is my micro car scale set. This is these are my micro scale vehicles, and they are a scale of one sixty four. So they're about the same size as a Hot Wheel car, making them indifferent for sure. But yeah. Anyways, that is it for this one, and until next time, goodbye! Like and subscribe the video for more.